First it was ZR2 versus TRD Pro. Then we did Gladiator Rubicon versus ZR2. You kept asking for it. So now we've got a Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro and a Jeep Gladiator Rubicon. And it's time to hit the trail. Before the Gladiator came out, the Tacoma TRD Pro was by far the best mid-size pickup choice for those seeking off-road adventure. Lots of clearance, trick shocks, a locking rear diff, and a few electronic traction aids gave it untouchable trail worthiness. But the Gladiator is a reality, and the Rubicon version could give the TRD Pro a hard time. Solid axles all around, front and rear lockers, a detachable front stabilizer bar, and crazy approach and departure angles. But it does have one potential drawback. It's long, 10 inches longer between the axles. What we have here is a horse race. So we're up here in the Calico Mountains. Ooh, rocks. And we are exploring some trails. At the top of these trails are some mines, and mines are cool, right? Now, we've got some maps, but they're from the Clinton administration. So hopefully the trails haven't changed that much. How was that? <laughs> that was fun, it was yeah. rocky. This looks like it might be a little bit more fun. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, that's a big step up there. And a lot of skid marks from other people. Do you think we should put some rocks in there? I don't think so. I think I'd leave them the way they are. And if we have to, we can move rocks. But let's try not to. But we do have lockers. So I think we can get through this. Shouldn't okay. be too much trouble. OK, All let's right, hit it. Let's try it. So now we get to watch that Jeep go over that first obstacle. I will watch intently. Oh, this looks like a big step up here. And I know this has a long wheelbase. Up we go. It's almost going to drag the tail hitch. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> That's a skid plate. Oh, the muddy tires are spinning. Okay, I'm gonna have to lock the rear diff. See if that helps. Nope. Lock the front and the rear together because the front has traction. creative with this. Sawing the wheel back and forth. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. I got both. The, it's because these tires are so loaded full of mud. I'm going to back up, give it another shot. The wheelbase is exactly locked into two low spots on the trail. If the wheelbase is any shorter or any longer, I probably wouldn't have this problem. Well, I don't know about longer. I'm going to back up for another look. I go a little further right. Maybe I can keep my... This might work. <sighs> Try this again. If I can get this way a little bit. Light touch. I think it's time to see how Kurt's going to do. All right, Kurt, you ready for this? I'm ready for this. Rock crawling time. Sensitive throttle work is kind of key.
not so bad. So what'd you think of that? That was, <laughs> that was slippery. Slippery, right? Yeah, look at that. You can see like right where yeah. you have to bridge that. Exactly. Gap between the rocks. Yeah, I think I had a little bit harder time because the wheelbase of the Gladiator was exactly the same as the pitch between these two boulders. I think this rock has uh, something to say about the Yeah, I think I wheelbase. put some of those scrapes on there. <laughs> it didn't feel that bad though. It was real light touches, although it looks not so light now that I look at it. But your wheelbase being a little different, mm -hmm. I think you had a little easier time. Yeah. Because you didn't lock your locker, did you? No, no, you told me to leave it off, so I just yeah. left it off. Yeah, let's see what's up the road. Okay. I would not buy the snorkel. I know it's not called a snorkel, but I would not buy the snorkel. It looks really silly. The Tacoma's wheel articulation off-road is really good compared to other pickup trucks. But then the Gladiator came along and it's got a disconnecting front stabilizer bar and it's a whole different ball game here. I like that this truck has a, a real roof on it. I know it's kind of unfair to compare it to this particular Gladiator because it has a soft top. I do like the feeling of protection and isolation in this. I've always been asked, is this a Jeep or a truck? And it really is both. I mean, it does Jeep things well and the bed is credible and the amount it can tow and haul is credible. So yeah, I mean, okay, it's not a two-door Jeep, uh, but neither is a four-door Wrangler. I appreciate having a front-facing camera and it's got little cameras on the bottom of the mirrors to show you what's just behind your front tires, but this is low quality. This is like a 10-year-old backup camera. If you're gonna include something like this, it should be really nice. The Gladiator off-road, it's a Jeep, and it performs like one. Great articulation, lockers, visibility like you wouldn't believe, and top comes down. I mean, yeah, there's nothing fake about this. This is a Jeep pickup. It looks like there's a little spur trail to the left here that goes on up to a mine. You want to take the lead? Sure, I'll do that. Yeah, just go straight there and just kind of go up that draw to the left of you there. Wait, what? There's a little hole in the rock up here. <laughs> I think we can do this. There are tire tracks. There are tire tracks. Yeah, I think I'd, uh, I'd like a spot. There's not a lot of room for air. The surface is a little slippery and I can see uh, that. Not to mention there's this oh, arch. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's also yeah. a wall of rock. I don't think it's much wider than that. <laughs> All right, Kurt, you're going to want to come straight just a little bit. Okay, now turn a little bit to the right. Not a lot. Not that far. Not that far. Now you Watch your mirror. You keep your eye on your mirror. I'm, I'm going to keep your eye on the snorkel. Hey, buddy. Watch your rear quarter. Come to the right. Come to a passenger. Straight. Okay, now just gently. Your rear end's going to come down, and it might touch in the tail here. Ooh. Slowly. Oh, it looks like you're clearing. You're good. I am good. Drive on through. You're kidding, right? All I see is rock. You got this much. You're good. Just creep it down. Now, if you keep the wheel straight for a little longer, you're good. I hear scraping. <laughs> You're good. You can pull straight through. Just keep the wheel straight. Look at that articulation. You got it. Let me check the bumper. You're clear in the back. 
Oh, I really thought it was gonna rub back there. Hey, uh, any chance I could get some sea time in the Gladiator? Yeah, absolutely. Looks like there's a spot up here that'll be good. You know it gets serious when you put the window down. You ready? I'm ready. Let's see how this goes. You hear all kinds of interesting sounds when you go off-roading. Uh, chassis scraping the rocks, bodywork, hopefully not bodywork. Can't see over this hood. Uh, there we go. Piece of cake, actually. Just a matter of picking the right line, as it usually is. No need for a locker, just motor right on up. Oh, this thing's heroic. That was easy. Yeah, I was just thinking that. It looked a lot more treacherous than it actually was. I think having the right equipment helps. Yeah, both of these do this stuff pretty well. This is quite a little frame twist section here. I think I'm gonna hike a wheel. We'll have to see if I can get through it without any driver aids. Oh. <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> so his rear wheel is about, was about a foot off the ground. And that's because there's no easy way to disconnect the sway bars on the Tacoma. He has a couple options available to him. He's got crawl control, which is pretty trick technology. I don't think crawl control is the right thing here. Okay, enough of that. Or he could lock his rear differential. I'm gonna do the diff lock. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so cool. Piece of cake. Just hit something. Nothing important, I think. Oh, there's a cliff over there. I better not get too close to it. Yeah. Boy, in a minute here, I'm not gonna be able to see where I'm going. Kurt, I might have made this corner without taking another cut at it. Your left front wheel is on top of that rock. Piece of key lime pie. That's better than cake. It's my turn. He's got more articulation because his stabilizer bar can be disconnected. This one can. Good front camera, good front camera. I'm not making this turn. Three point driver's ed. Yeah, three point turn at least. But with a cliff, you know, just for spice. That's gonna work. As long as the inside doesn't drag, the outside's fine. That's so cool. Check out all these vine shafts. Uh, we should stop and check some of them out. Roger that. Go in, I've got a flashlight. Yeah, you first. <laughs> uh-huh. This is... Oh, look at the shaft from the top. Oh, wow. This won't end badly at all, will it? This yeah. is fine. Wow, this is as far as it goes. I've seen enough movies to know that I don't want to go any further anyway. Let's get out of here. Let's look for another one. Let's get out of here. It's an interesting trash can. <laughs> That's a Volkswagen Beetle. Isn't it? It is. Well, it used to be a Volkswagen Beetle. This isn't a place you would expect to find interesting things to look at. If you look at it on a map, it's just a big wasteland. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, there's a lot more to it when you get up close. A lot of great stuff around here. Yeah, and buying vehicles like that makes it 
easy to get here and easy to get home. Yeah, that's the thing. You'd like to be able to go places look cool on a map and be able to get there without worrying about your truck being able to make it. Absolutely. Get you home. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go find something else. Let's go. What did we learn here today? Oh, we're at that part. <laughs> um, yep. Both of these trucks are great off-road, mm -hmm. and the Gladiator is our number one ranked pickup truck, mm -hmm. and in Rubicon trim, it just reinforces that. It's fantastic. It's great off-road. Yeah, and that doesn't mean the TRD Pro isn't any good, because we love it, too. It's just that the Gladiator just has the articulation, the protection, and, you know, it's a Jeep. It just, it's a little bit better out here. Yeah, and it's not to say that the 2020 Tacoma TRD Pro isn't a good truck. They've made the truck better, mm -hmm. but the Gladiator is just that much better. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, it's my pick. Oh, it's my pick too. Mm -hmm. And we had a heck of a lot of fun trying to find that out. Oh, absolutely. So let us know what your pick is. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. All the things. Yeah. And remember to use Edmunds next time you're in the market for a car, truck, SUV, or a Jeep.